hi there thanks for watching this video this is me my name is John Ito and today I'm going to answer um, one of the questions from one of our followers so um, um, the question was what must I know before getting married to a woman all right so um, I am married and I've been in marital relationship for 11 years so I'm just going to give you some few tips okay and um, what I'm going to tell you is that marriage differs from tribe to tribe and from country to country okay um, so but before thinking of getting married before you ever thinking of getting married the first thing you should think of is whether you have a job or not you must be working you should have a job never you think that you can get married to a woman if you are not working you're going to have some difficulties along the line and i'm, I'm saying this as one of the first tips because a man who is not working and then maybe borrowed more money or ask friends to support you in your wedding along the line you're still going to have issues in your marital home so to stand on the good side look for a job save some money and then start thinking of getting married that is one so two you must have a divine purpose of getting married why do you want to get married to a woman you must have some kind of purpose of getting married to a woman are you getting married to a woman because you wanted to have sex are you thinking of having just legal sex are you thinking of of um, having children with the lady are you um, are you just being carried because your friends have gotten married so you should have some some divine purpose of why you're getting married to this woman do you want to get married to this woman because you needed somebody for the rest of your life that's a good one or you needed um, you you need her to accomplish your political purpose there's so many purposes of why people get married but your agenda should be well defined and it should be a good one okay if there's a kind of job that you are planning to that you have difficulty to have because you are not married and then you wanted to get married to somebody so you can have that job that purpose is wrong okay so think of why you want to get married to somebody think of why you want to marry you want to get married to this woman is it because you see the huge balls on the chest or is it because you look at the feet the, the legs are so glittering or you look at the butt or so you should have your um your purpose must be must be defined and must be a divine one okay a god-fearing purpose that's what i mean so that's number two so three you should be able to save some money do not rely on others do not rely on others when you want to marry okay do not think that because your father is this they're going to support you do not do not depend on your friends do not rely on anybody save money put some money in the bank if you learn how to save money before you marry you're also going to be able to save money when you get married okay so save some money okay don't go empty-handed and you think that you can get married to a woman like that no some family you have to buy a couple of things you have to buy a long list of things you even have to pay the bride price and so on so it takes money even though some others may support you but it takes money all right so um the fourth one is that you have to be prayerful 
I am a Christian. That, that's why I'm adding that one. That you have to be prayerful. If you are not prayerful, okay, your marriage may have issues along the way and you may have difficulty to solve those problems. Every marital relationship has an issue. Along the line, there's going to be some tough time. There's going to be difficulty. And, and you're going to find ways to solve your problems. Nobody's going to be with you. There's going to be time that you, you, you and your wife have to, have to figure out something. So be ready for that. Okay? So you have to be prayerful. A prayerful person will easily solve issues in their marital relationship. When you are prayerful and you involve your wife in um, in Christianity, maybe you guys go to church and come back and then pray together, that is going to help solve your marital problems. And then um, next should be number um, number five should be your desire and your intention for, for that person must be pure and sincere. When you want to get married to somebody, you must have a desire for that person. Sincere desire. Pure desire. Don't just look at the breast and you are lost. Don't just look at the butt and you are lost. Don't marry a woman because the parents are wealthy. That's the wrong agenda. Don't just get married to a woman because um, she is um, she has a position in the society. So that desire and intention is wrong. And um, don't get married to a woman because she is in the royal family. All those are wrong, okay? So get your desire straight and have your intention straight. You're going to be successful. So the thing about marriage is not about the wedding and it's not about the celebration. The thing is, how are you going to keep that relationship going? Because marriage is a journey. Your wife is going to come from a different family. You are going to come from a different family. Family. The two of you have different genealogy. Okay, you were born from a different parent, and so there are things that you guys are going to have disagreement about. But you need some. You need some um, knowledge. You need some some help to solve this problem. So if your desire and your intention is not pure and is wrong, you're going to have issues to solve your marital problem at home. And if you look at a woman by looking at the breast only or looking at the feet only, by the time she starts giving birth, those things will, will not be like how she is. Okay? Know that when you look at a girl and she's so beautiful and you plan to get married to her because of the way you see her, when she starts giving children, when she starts giving birth to children, She's not going to be the same way you see her, okay? So you're going to realize some some difference in shapes, okay? The shape is going to be different. And that's going to scare you because that is something you're not prepared for. So you, you have to put that in your head, okay? Put that in your head. And um, don't hurry me. Um, let me take my time and think about this um, number six. The sixth one is... Um, you need a marital counseling. You need counseling. Make sure that you went for counseling and talk with the counselor. It can be a Christian person. It can be a pastor. They're going to direct you and tell you what you need to do. And and then when you find the girl, you also take heart. You and the girl go together and do counseling. Okay? Do counseling with the girl. Okay? Another thing you have to do when you um when the girl accept you and you guys have that pre relationship make sure you have tested yourself for hiv and other tests for other kind of um, transmittable disease make sure the girl do a test know which blood group the girl has and you also need to know your blood group okay so that by the time you guys have children you know you you, you do that cross um that cross crossing so you know um your the survival rate the survival rate of your children so that is important okay know what blood group your wife is the the lady who's going to be your wife and what blood group you are okay 
that is so important and do all venereal disease tests also so you know the kind of woman you, you're married to okay and then next um you have to be open open to your wife is that i if you have had so many girlfriends and you have break up if you have you've ha if you ha had married before you need to open up to her you need to tell her that i had been married before and i break up you have to be open to your wife okay and your wife has to be open to you also those are some of the things that you need to do be open tell your back stories okay and share with the woman that you want to live your life with open up to her let it not be at one point that she start discovering that oh so this guy had married before you have to open up to her so that the things that she does she doesn't like you begin to find a way to solve it okay and then um next you you must get rid of some old friends okay think of the friends who have been there with you who are giving you good advice keep them the ones who are bad push them aside because now you're going to be a different person you you're no longer going to be a single when you were single you have single friends now you're going to get married now your life is going to be different the places that you used to go as a single you're not going to those places anymore so you have to keep some friends away you have to distance yourself from some friends or else you're still going to have issues in your marital home because if you keep some friends who love to go do those things as singles and you start mingling yourself with them they're still going to pull you with them to go to those places where where uh, you're not supposed to go now that you're married and so you're going to have problem with your spouse you're going to have problem with your wife okay so do not be a strong man don't claim that you are too strong or else you're going to have issues okay so if you were going to nightclub stop going to nightclub if your wife loved going to nightclub take her to nightclub that's okay but if you were single and you used to go to nightclub you used to go to party so you have to keep that aside and the friends that want to take you back to those life you have to push them one side say oh boy i'm married now my life is different okay think about that okay those are the things you have to put in your head and then um next you have to study your wife to be you need to know who she is okay you need to know her don't know her through long distance just see pictures and you think that she is she's like that no we have seen people who look at pictures and just fall into that relationship and by the time they know they saw a crippled woman and they were like, oh is it 